Some people thought Jason Peters would end up starting at left tackle, but he clearly wasn't ready to go week one. And Tyler Smith got the nod at left tackle. And to be honest, for a rookie in his first ever NFL game, I think he looked really solid. I think there's so much potential with Tyler Smith. And truth be told, it may be wise for the Cowboys to just keep Smith in there at left tackle since technically he is the future at left tackle. Just let him learn. Let him develop. Now, of course, if the Cowboys decide to not go with this plan and move him back to left guard, especially with Connor McGovern going down yesterday, I could definitely see that happening. But today we're going to break down Tyler Smith's tape and really get into the gritty nitty details and why I think he had a really solid game starting with this play right here. Now, of course, this is a zone to the left of your screen and Zeke's going to obviously cut it back. McGovern does a good job getting to the inside. Smith tries to overtake this defensive lineman. The goal in this play would be that Smith can overtake him and the left guard would then be able to get up to the linebacker to seal the linebacker. But of course, that's only if number 58 does not come downfield the way he does. He crashes hard and Smith quickly realizes that and he quickly processes that. And at the same time, instead of going to number 54, he's going to go ahead and stop himself and seal off the backside. No one blocks 54, as you guys can see, but it's still an okay play. I think Smith does the right thing. Let's get into the next clip. For me, the most impressive part with Tyler Smith was the fact that oftentimes he had Vita Vea, he had Levante David, he had Devin White, he had Shaquille Barrett. Basically, four of the best players at their position, the guy had them lined up over him at any given play. I think most people would agree that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers do have a top five front seven right not defensive ends not the front defensive line alone i'm talking about the entire front seven i think most people agree this is one of the best in the league you can obviously make the argument the cowboys do too but you know in, in, in this play right here the thing i'm going to notice right off the bat is the fact that there's a defensive line game now on this play you're going to realize that vita bea is going to go into tyler smith and shaquille barrett is going to come underneath and they're going to try to run a defensive line game mcgovern and smith do a great job specifically smith with seeing it and picking up Vita Bea. If Smith does not pick up Vita Bea, McGovern could not get to Shaquille Barrett on this play, but they're able to both process it and they both pick up the defensive line game and the quarterback's kept clean and he's able to complete the pass here. Good heads up play by Tyler Smith. Let's get into the next rep. One of the things that I absolutely love with Tyler Smith is that willingness to put someone into the dirt, that aggressive nature, that physicality that he plays with. This is a great rep right here. And it's not great because of the fact that he puts number 92 down. What's great is that number 92 is in this three technique. And Tyler Smith really has to be able to get to the inside and reach and seal him off. And right when Smith gets out of his stance, he's to the inside. As an offensive lineman, this is where you want to be because your running back who's running a zone to the left here could easily cut back into any single one of these lanes. And of course, on this play, the running back does cut it back into the lane that Tyler Smith is sealing off here. Now, at the same time, Golston understands his responsibility. He has to get back to the inside gap here. And as Golston's trying to get back, Smith does a great job dipping, getting lower than Golston, and really using that leverage to take him and, and put him down right there. That's a great job by Tyler Smith. Absolutely love it. Let's get into the next round. Earlier, I showed you guys a video in which Connor McGovern and Tyler Smith did a great job on a defensive line game. Uh, here's a play in which the left guard, who is now filling in, as well as Smith, do not do a good job, right? Uh, at this point, Connor McGovern has been hurt. He has the ankle injury. He's out of the game. Um, in this play right here, you can see that Tyler Smith does not do a good job with Vita Vea, and he doesn't pass him off, in my opinion, in a good way. Uh, you got to use your hands. He doesn't. He tries using his body. Vita Vea is too strong, and this is not going to work. At the same time, 58 is going to come around freely and hit the quarterback. Overall, this is just not a good rep. You got to keep the quarterback clean. Now, I will say this, I think this is the type of rep that's going to help Smith. Smith has to realize, when a guy like Vita Vea is lined up out wide, you need to jump to him. You need to go directly at him because you can't let him get full speed. He's too strong, right? Those three to four steps that Vita takes as soon as he gets out of his stance is all he needs to really generate that power. One of the strongest players in the NFL right there, number 50. And in my opinion... As Smith gets older and he gets more experience on this play, he may go directly at Vita, Vita Bea, right? Because in this play specifically, there's responsibilities, right? Uh, you put Zeke right here, which means he's responsible for number 45 if number 45 comes. Uh, the right tackle for 90, 
the right guard for number nine, the center responsible for 54, 68 is responsible for 58. Every guy has a responsibility. So for Smith, I would like to see him go to Via and really punch Via jumps at him and really just be quick and just get out there and not let him generate that power. Because when you get out of your stance and you set vertically and you let Via take those three to four steps, that power that he's bringing is going to knock number 68 on his ass because he's just too strong. At the same time, if you're not going to jump set this and you're going to get vertical, punch him. Use your hands, right? Use those those big, aggressive, strength-filled hands of yours and stop him. In this play, he doesn't. He tries to use his body. Via just blows through everyone. And, of course, 58 comes around the edge. Either way, not a good rep, but it is a learning rep. I think uh, offense line coach uh, Philbin is going to take this play and he's going to show Smith and show him what he needs to work on. Let's get into the next rep. So as you guys see in this video, we are uh, not only showing the positive reps that Smith had, and keep in mind he had a lot of positive reps, but we're also looking at some of the negative reps, some of the improvements, some of the things that are, is going to make him a better football player. That is something that I like to do with the channel. Uh, here's something that he needs to work on. Uh, look at every single offensive lineman relative to Smith. Every guy is already into their first step, almost moving that second foot, and Smith is barely out of his hands. If I go back just one frame, it's even more clear how much faster the right tackle to left guard are, and Smith is not jumping out of his stance. And I noticed this on several plays, right? This was not the only play. Now, of course, he's backside blocking. Does his block really matter? No. He's not going to really block anyone. Um, either way, didn't want to just point that out. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Jumping into the next rep, this one's kind of interesting because Smith is going to give up his chest on this play. Barrett does a great job getting to the inside, but yet yeah, Smith still anchors down. And this is what's so impressive with Smith. It's what's so impressive with that strength that he has. This is terrible footwork, terrible technique. Uh, his feet are even going to cross as soon as he makes contact. At this point, if you guys watch that right foot, it's going to cross his left foot um, there. As you guys can see, that's terrible technique right there. He's so off balance, but yet he still shuts it down. He readjusts and he anchors down and the quarterback's able to get the ball out. And this guy's nowhere near the quarterback. In fact, Terrence Steele's guy, I think he gets a lot closer than does Tyler Smith's guy. Pretty solid job. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Now, from a technique standpoint, I think Smith needs to continue to work on his footwork. He needs to work on his different uh, pass sets. But one of the things he has shown in the past is independent hands. And that is something that I absolutely love. So what independent hands means is on this play, you're going to see him throw a left punch right there. And that left punch really neutralizes a pass rusher, especially if you have a solid punch. That left hand's followed up by a right punch. And we're going to switch over to the end zone angle and you'll be able to see it. But this is a really, really great rep by Tyler Smith. Maybe one of his best reps. As Barrett gets out of his stance, you're going to see Smith load up that left hand, throw the punch, and that right there neutralizes Shaquille Barrett. Now, Barrett is trying to use his right hand to swat down. But that left punch is really good. And then he's going to bring that right punch right afterwards and get it back to the inside. That's a really solid rep right there by Tyler Smith. And he anchors down. That's a nice rep right there. Let's go ahead and get into the next play. Now, I do want to throw a quick disclaimer out there. Tyler Smith did play in 69 snaps, but a lot of his snaps, more than half of them were plays like this, where he's like a backside block. Uh, and if it's not, he's a backside block. It's a quick pass. And they're plays that were basically skipping. So I just want to throw that out there. We're not going to go through 69 reps. We're really going to only go through the positive reps that he has an impact and the negative reps that he has an impact. So let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Alrighty guys, jumping forward into this next rep, a really interesting play. You have a one-on-one -on -one true pass set between Smith and Barrett. And Barrett's going to win this rep and he's going to get a little bit of pressure and, and really smack Dak Prescott. This is a really interesting rep because Smith is going to take a 45 degree set. He's not going to get vertical, which would be straight back. And Barrett is going to chop down that left hand of Smith. There it is. And he's going to give him a light rip with the left hand. He's able to turn the corner. He's going to get the hit on the quarterback here. Uh, that's definitely a losing rep by Smith. Do understand Shaquille Barrett. A lot of people would say he's a top 10 to top 15 edge player. Uh, he is obviously a good football player, right? That's why the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have paid him all that money. Is a losing rep. It's okay. It's a learning lesson. Let's go ahead and get into the next play. One of the things I love with Tyler Smith is the, his ability to move people. 
This is a power run to the left here, and Smith is going to absolutely take his guy and move him three to four yards. Now on this play, you're going to get a double to Vita Bea. One of these guys is going to get off and get to the linebacker. On the back side, you're going to just have two seal blocks between the right guard, right tackle. But it's really Smith's job to take number 98 and move him. Smith is going to initially make contact with the defensive end. I want you guys to watch it really quickly. And at the point of attack, look at how much more he's going to move him. He's going to continue to drive and just move this guy another two to three yards. And look at that lane that is created. That's a great job by the left tackle. And Zeke picks up about seven yards on this play. Let's go ahead and jump forward into the next rep. One of the reasons why I love to watch tape is because you start to realize the tendencies of a player. So as I'm sitting here watching Tyler Smith and I see him do a great job picking up this defensive line game, I'm starting to realize that this is now the third defensive line game that the Buccaneers have ran to Smith. Now the first one he was successful on, the second one he wasn't, and the third one, once again, he is successful. He does a great job against Vita Bea. He takes his power on. He anchors and he shuts down Via. And here's the, here's the difference in the first and this third clip. In the first and this third clip, Smith is going to be the guy that is going to take the contact, right? Uh, in the second play, it was Smith's guy that gave the contact to the left guard. This time, it's the left guard's guy that's going to give the contact to Smith. So Smith does a little bit better job when it's him that's getting hit and not him that has to stop a guy who's hitting someone else and I hope that makes sense that might be a little confusing um, but it's clear to me that on defensive line games Smith's able to do one better than the other and we'll point it out as we see more of these throughout this game um, but Smith does need to work on him being able to pass the guy off as opposed to him picking up a guy that's being passed off and this play does a good job um, and we'll get into some other reps as well where uh, maybe it's Smith not doing a good job, but in this play, he does a great job. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. All right, you guys, jumping forward into this next rep, uh, I want to show you guys this play. I want you guys to watch CD Lamb in the slot here. I think this play could have been a touchdown. And honestly, I think Dak Prescott makes the right read. Honestly, I don't see any way in which Devin White would have been able to run with C.D. Lamb. In fact, I think Lamb already has a step. He has his hand up. He knows this is a touchdown. Prescott wants to throw it, but Prescott gets smoked. We're going to talk about this play because the offense line did not do a good job. And I actually had people tag me on Twitter saying, once again, Tyler Smith doesn't do a good job. And, you know, it's his guy that ends up getting the pressure. But yet, when you don't watch the coach's tape, when you don't have the actual film, you don't realize that Smith actually is picking up a guy that's blitzing and it is up to the left guard here to stop Shaquille Barrett. So as this play continues, you guys can see that Shaquille Barrett gets right by the left guard there. Uh, if you guys missed it, Barrett does a great job chopping down the left hand. And it's not Smith's responsibility to pick up Barrett. He's picking up a blitzer and he actually does a good job picking up his blitzer. And you guys can see that Prescott is loading up to throw this ball deep. And he takes a hit, and of course, the ball falls short. Uh, I think C.D. Lamb would have scored a touchdown on this play. Now, of course, we don't know. We'll never know. But the fact that people were tagging me and saying this was on Tyler Smith, I think is kind of ridiculous. Uh, either way, I just wanted to point that out. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Earlier in the video, I did give a disclaimer, and I want to add a little bit more context to that. There's a lot of winning reps by Smith like this, and we're not breaking these plays down, right? Smith is going to do his job. He wins this rep. He played almost 70 snaps, so we're not going to get into every single one and plays like this, especially with where, where he's winning. But really, he's just pass blocking, and it's nothing for us to really break down. We're not going to get into these reps either, right? So we are skipping a lot of his reps, a lot of his winning reps. So do understand if you're seeing a little bit more negative plays um, ra rather than positive plays. Don't think that Smith, you know, 50% of his snaps were losing snaps. That's not the point of this video, right? The point of this video is to really highlight his really good reps as well as his losing reps but reps like this where he's winning keep in mind this is like 95 percent of his reps right here where he wins does his job and we're skipping these just want to kind of throw that out there let's go ahead and get into the next rep all right you guys jumping into this rep right here this was the sack that tyler smith was credited by pro football focus in this play you're going to see that smith is going to block down i'm not sure what caused him to block down but basically number 98 goes unblocked 98 is going to get to the quarterback and sack the quarterback. 
As someone who studies offensive line tape, this is 100% miscommunication. Either the running back made the mistake that, that he should have been the guy to pick up the defensive end, and basically everyone else was uh, basically going to block down here. And of course, Smith blocks down as well. Either way, someone made that mistake. And of course, uh, the defensive end goes unblocked as he, the running back comes down as well. And, you know, you can credit that to Smith, I guess. If You know, you have to credit the sack to someone. But I think miscommunication more than actually Smith losing a rep. Let's go ahead and get to the next play. Jumping into the next rep, Tyler Smith once again does a great job anchoring down. And really just stopping 98 in his tracks and just being a bit of beat up this defensive end. This is one of the, the biggest assets that Smith has is his ability to anchor. And if you guys don't know what anchoring means, basically at, at a certain point in every single rep, a tackle anchors. He's going to get his legs out. He's going to drop his hips and he's going to anchor down and shut someone down. But once a tackle like Smith anchors, you're not getting past him. It's a really solid rep. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. On this play, Smith is going to get vertical and watch his the power, the explosiveness. He takes this to number 98. I mean, look at this. That right there is what you want to see. Number 98 is not even going to get close to the quarterback. In fact, from the point that him and Smith make contact, he ends up going further away from the quarterback, which is kind of crazy to think. Smith does a great job on this play. And this is why he was a first round pick in college. When we watched him at Tulsa, if you guys watched the film breakdown, one of the things he was great at was taking guys and just removing them out of the play. And on this play, he's not even in the camera shot anymore because Smith drives him so far out that right. There's a great rep by Tyler Smith. Absolutely love it. So go ahead and get to the next rep. Jumping forward into this next rep, Smith, once again, does a great job anchoring down against number 90. Look at that right there. You can almost call that a penalty. Smith does a great job anchoring and just shutting this guy down. Of course, Prescott rolls out. Uh, that's a really nice job right there by Tyler Smith. And I think it is important to really show the biggest strength that Smith has, which is anchoring. Once you lock in and once he drops those, those feet down, once he drops the hips right there, he's hard to move. He's hard to get past. And that right there is his biggest asset. So I did want to just point that out. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Now, if you guys are still watching this video, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, we're probably like 15 to 20 minutes into it at this point, maybe even longer. If you guys are watching this, make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know you guys are watching this video. But earlier in the video, I mentioned that Tyler Smith is a little slow out of his stance. And that, that play wasn't the only play, right? I had told you guys. And here's another example. This play actually leads to a quarterback pressure. Now, do note that there were other plays he was slow out of his stance, but this one's noticeable, right? You can look at every single player on the line. They're all out of their stance. From left guard to right tackle, everyone's already out of their stance, and Smith is not. Even the defensive end is already speed rushing. So Smith is at a major disadvantage at this point because he's not out of his stance. Now, as you guys can see, the quarterback is going to get pressure because the defensive end is able to turn that corner right there, and the quarterback barely gets it out. Um, that's, you know, there's nothing as a quarterback you can do, but the fact that Prescott's still able to complete this pass, that's freaking impressive, man. He's throwing this off his back foot. He's not stepping into the throw. He's letting it go. Uh, Smith has to do a better job getting out of his stance. And the thing with this play right here, is this is fixable. This is, this is just reps, reps, understanding Prescott's cadence, understanding when he needs to jump, understanding his pass sets, his technique, right? Uh, there's so many positives that I've seen in this video with Smith. Obviously, this is one of the negatives. I think Tyler Smith has superstar potential, man. It, it's very clear, and I see why the Cowboys took him in the first round. The guy looks really good. You have another defensive line game. The tackle goes first, and the defensive end comes second. This is the type of defensive line game Tyler Smith is actually good at. When he's the guy receiving the initial punch, when he's the guy receiving the defensive lineman, he does a great job at it. And of course, the left guard does a good job as well, getting off and getting to the inside. But look at the strength right here by Smith. Look at that leverage. Look at how he's moving this guy or really just stoning him in his place. Tyler Smith has this strength to him that I absolutely love. He has this physicality to him that I absolutely love. In year two, three, four, and five, like as Smith gets more experienced, He's, he's going to be throwing people, man. I, I already see it. He has this, he has this natural strength in him. Either way, let's go ahead and get into the next rep. 
Jumping forward, we have another defensive line game. This is actually the one that Smith in, in the beginning of the game showed us he did not do a good job at, which is he has to take a guy and pass that guy off to his offensive lineman. In this one, he does a good job passing him off. And then he's going to get to the linebacker as well. And he does a really solid job on this play. So again, do note that as you watch tape, you see some things that a guy may make a mistake on early on. And as the game goes on, he maybe gets a little bit more comfortable. Maybe things slow down a little bit for him. And in this play right here, he does a really solid job. With that being said, let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Alrighty, guys, with that being stated, I am going to end the video here. But I do want to kind of wrap up with some final thoughts watching the offensive line. Really watching the tape and watching every single rep. I know a lot of people probably look at this offensive line. I know a lot of Cowboys fans may look at this offensive line and say they are terrible. They may say that Terrence Steele's not good because he had four penalties last night. Tyler Smith doesn't look good at left tackle. You know, people may have all these different opinions about this unit. I honestly think they look pretty good, and I think they're going to get so much better. All right, you can look at plays like this when... The quarterback gets sacked, but this isn't credited to the offensive line. This is on Tony Pollard. Number 20 should have picked up the linebacker. He literally gets tossed to the side here, and the quarterback gets sacked. And there's other plays where the quarterback gets pressured. Obviously, we didn't go over those plays, where it's like a tight end should have done a better job, or a running back should have chipped, or, or something else other than the offensive line. Truth be told, I think the offensive line did a pretty decent job. Obviously, there's going to be some growing pains when you have a new right tackle, a new left tackle, your left guard goes down mid-game. Uh, there's going to be growing pains, and that is absolutely fact, right? But Tyler Smith looked good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is the first time you're on this channel, please consider subscribing. This video took well over three hours to make, so I would appreciate it. At least thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.